What's good, y'all? It's Bull Ross back at again with another video. So, we're going to check out 10 WWE stars who got injured on the road to WrestleMania. We are on the road to WrestleMania as we speak, and hopefully, this is not the case for any wrestlers uh, heading into uh, the two night epic uh, in Hollywood this year. Hopefully, everyone can go into WrestleMania healthy and leave out WrestleMania healthy as well. So, we're going to check out some of these moments where, unfortunately, unfortunately, the injury bug ended up hitting individuals that was on the road to wrestlemania so we're gonna check this out uh appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel didn't i mean to go full screen <laughs> and let's get right into this one injured is never a good thing to happen at any time however as i found out when i got a paper cut right before the world lemon <clears throat> squeezing finals some injuries are more mistimed than others Not a paper it is cut. every wrestler's dream to compete at wrestlemania for sure at least that's what wwe <laughs> tells us so imagine how gutting it must have been for this lot to get Get hurt so close to the big night. While some were only minor, others had consequences that changed the course of WWE history. I'm Adam Pacisi from Cultaholic Wrestling, and these are 10 WWE wrestlers who got injured on the road to WrestleMania. It's unfortunate Join when it does happen, man. But first, it is time to celebrate because it's NordVPN's birthday. <laughs> I was at <laughs> Hulk and Rock. Them getting back, man. Yeah. Not mad at it. Not mad at it at all. In the 2016 Royal Rumble, fans started to salivate at the thought of the Eater of Worlds squaring off against the Beast at the Showcase of the Immortals. This didn't end up happening as the match was moved to Roadblock instead. It was also turned into a handicap match as Bray was mm. reportedly hurt. And unfortunately, injuries would continue to be a common thread for the Wyatts during this time. Damn. Luke Harper, also known as the late great Brody Lee, banged up his knee whilst wrestling an untelevised eight man tag team match after the March 21st episode of Raw. This was less than three weeks out from WrestleMania 32, which had already broken the record for how many wrestlers can we lose through injury before one show. Damn. Whilst Harper wasn't actually scheduled to wrestle that night, he did miss out on a segment involving his Wyatt brethren, John Cena and The Rock. Although, had he been healthy, maybe he would have been the one squashed by the Great One in six seconds. Perhaps this was uh, a lucky escape. Number yeah. nine, Edge. One of the big matches at No Way Out 2000 2003 was supposed to be a six-man tag pitting Brock Lesnar, Chris Benoit, and Edge against WWE Champion Kurt Angle and his Team Angle crony Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Haas. However, before this fight could begin, the Rated R superstar got laid out backstage and was left unable to compete. In reality, this was a cover-up for a neck injury Edge had recently sustained. Oh. He had been struggling ever since September the previous year and had finally done enough damage to himself to warrant surgery. Not only was the Canadian out of of the No Way Out match, but he also missed WrestleMania 19 as well. And that Damn. meant he didn't get to see Limp Bizkit perform Crack Addict live. Damn you. <laughs> Damn, man. Uh, hey, bro. This is why we always say, you know, we want to give respect to the wrestlers that put their lives on the line and their bodies on the line to entertain us. And a lot of times there's they're dealing with pain that they should be trying to get fixed, but they don't want to lose their spot on the card, or you know they, you know they're just tr they're kind of an autopilot, so they just ignore the pain. But ultimately, you know they 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 risk their bodies just to entertain us, and you gotta you gotta show them respect for that. Two cruel fates. It's rumored that Edge would have teamed with Benoit in a three-way for the WWE Tag Team Titles, a spot that ultimately went to Rhino. Mm. That match ended up being a banger, a true underrated WrestleMania gem. Check it out. Also, Lesnar and Benoit won the handicap match at No Way Out, so it turns out nobody needed Edge anyway. Number eight, Damn. Christian. We couldn't include Edge and leave out his brother now, could we? Grandma Edna would be so disappointed in us. The man currently known as Christian Cage was on a pretty good run in early 2014, having just competed inside the Elimination Chamber for the WWE World Heavyweight title. Unfortunately, the good vibes would not last long. On the March 24th edition of Raw, the CLB won a fatal four-way match to determine the number one contender to the Intercontinental Championship, but the title match never happened due to a serious concussion he sustained oh, during the bout. Damn. We can't say for sure when he got it, but perhaps it happened around the time Alberto Del Rio kicked him square in the head. Oh. Not only 
ended, Christian lose his IC title match, but he lost out on six years of his career. This Damn. was Captain Charisma's final WWE match until a minute-long unsanctioned battle against Randy Damn. Orton in 2020. I forgot it's unclear about that. whether or not the title match would have happened at WrestleMania Damn. 30, but knowing WWE at the time, he would have probably just ended up in the Andre Battle Royal. Number seven, Rey Mysterio. Wow. After winning the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania 22, Rey Mysterio missed out on the following year's show by suffering an injury to his knee. Never mind, eh, Ray? I'm sure you'll get him next year, right? Nope. Mysterio was back in the hunt for the world title in the build-up to WrestleMania 24. He faced Edge for the gold at the Royal Rumble and No Way Out before an injury to his biceps took him out of action for Jeez. four months. Mysterio actually got the injury before the match with Edge, but like a true hero, he powered through. Like I just said, the fact that they will, they'll willingly go out there and do what they got to do, even with like a torn muscle. <laughs> got to give him props, man. Got to give him props. Equally, you could spin it that he should have saved himself for a big mania payday. But look, cut the man some slack, all right? According to The Big Show, the luchador was in line for a seriously huge match at the show of shows. Mm. Paul White claims that the original plans for the event would have seen Ray team up with Batista to take on himself and boxing legend Floyd Mayweather. Oh. As we now know, Show took on Mayweather in a pretty great singles match, but just imagine what might have been. Nah, Number six, been crazy. Big E. Despite ending 2021 strong as WWE champion, Big E's luck ran out about 20 or so hours into the new year. Yep. He was part of the five-way main event of day one, with his championship on the line against Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, Bobby Lashley, and Brock Lesnar. The yeah. Beast walked away with the gold, but at least Big E didn't take the pin. Wait, hang on. He did take the pin. So <laughs> <laughs> it's just so stupid, bro. I'm sorry, bro. That is just the dumbest booking decision I have seen in so long, bro. Biggie didn't need to take the pin. That made no sense. When you really think, I was so confused on why they made him take the pin. Oh, why was it a multi-man match? Awful. The former Mr. Langston continued to suffer when a spot on the March 11th SmackDown went horribly mm -hmm. wrong. He took an overhead belly-to-belly -belly uh. suplex from Ridge Holland, landing right on the top of his head Ooh. and fracturing two vertebrae in his neck. At time of writing, he still hasn't come back to the ring. Big E missed out on the entire rest of the year, including yeah. the planned WrestleMania match between the New Day and the Brawling Brutes. Number five, Batista. After I'm wishing them a speedy recovery. It looks like he, you know, he seems be up and moving around not sure if he's able to get back in the ring so we will see don't want him to rest that process wishing him you know you know a still speedy recovery and uh you know hopefully we can see him back in the ring soon Turning on his evolution leader Triple H, Batista won the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania 21 to a huge ovation. This was the start of a mammoth title reign for the animal, the yeah. longest in the belt's history. He held the gold all the way up to January 2006 before he ran into Mark Henry and his arm fell off. During a house show match mm -hmm. with the world's strongest man, Batista tore his right triceps and needed this. surgery. This completely derailed all plans the company had for the title as their their prize pig had just been slaughtered, metaphorically speaking, of course. Kurt Angle was parachuted in from Raw to snap up the blue brand's top prize, which eventually resulted in a triple threat at WrestleMania 22. You know, the one where Rey Mysterio won the title for Eddie. The nice one. As mm -hmm. for Drax the Destroyer, he would be out until July, when he returned and went straight yep. after the man who took him out. I remember he watching that too. He also took on Henry in his autobiography, actually, calling him careless for injuring him. I mean, you would have to be Big Dave's size to write something like that about a man who eats pickup trucks for breakfast. Number four, Neville. Hey, it's WrestleMania 32 again. I knew you would be back like a bad smell. Before he was the bastard in AEW, Pac was little old Neville in WWE. After reigning as NXT champion for the better part of a year, the Geordie got called up to the main roster the night after WrestleMania 31. Around a year later, Nev suffered an injury that took his Mania debut away from him. Whilst Luke Harper's happened during a dark match, the man that Gravity oh, forgot yeah. got the hurt infamous, on live infamous TV. One. 
During right a match here. with Chris Jericho, just 20 days out from the big night, Neville knackered his ankle during a routine sequence. Jericho tried to end the match early by mm -hmm. pinning Nev, but referee Charles Robinson tried to stick to the planned finish. This led to Y2J cussing out Robinson for all to hear until Lil Nate got the message and threw the contest out. Mm. Not only was this mad awkward, but it was also mad sad, as Neville was due to compete for the Intercontinental Damn, Championship man. in WrestleMania's ladder match opener. He was instead replaced by Zack Ryder. Wonder how he did. Number mm. three, Triple H. If there are three things Triple H loves more than anything, it is hammers, leather, and tearing his quadriceps yep, during I knew, tag team matches. I knew it was Nearly six happen. years <laughs> after famously ripping his left leg to pieces on Raw, the game did the same to the opposite limb at yep. New Year's Revolution 2007. I ain't gonna lie to you. That was a that was a fun pay per view. I ain't gonna hold you. That was a fun. That match, uh, rated RKO versus DX, was fun. It's just, it sucks that you end up getting injured. Battle with rated RKO, Trips blew out the muscle whilst hitting a spine buster on Randy Orton. The match quickly ended in a no contest, possibly mm -hmm. to cover up for the fact that a man's leg had just exploded. Yep. The story goes that Hunter was meant to face John Cena for the Ooh. WWE Championship at the upcoming WrestleMania 23. Ooh. However, due to the aforementioned leg explosion, WWE needed to find a replacement. Which they was didn't Sean. have to look far. They did. Only about two feet, actually, because they went with Sean. Shawn Michaels. Which is great. HBK and Big Match John had a cracker of a main event, with Michaels drawing out one of his opponent's best matches to date. Facts. Do we think that this was a far better outcome than having Triple H face Cena for the second year in a row? Mm, possibly. Possibly, Did we ever yeah. say this within a five-mile radius of the man himself? Most definitely not. Number two, The Undertaker. We all know the figure 21 and 1. Mm. In fact, it's powerful enough to send shivers down some wrestling fan's spines mm. to this very day. Shouldn't that have happened. is, of course, The Undertaker's win-loss record following his match with Should Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 30. After 22 years Brock, of competing at, at the show of shows, the dead man finally ate an L in shocking fashion. Wait, 22 years? But The Undertaker had his WrestleMania debut in 1991, not 1992. How did that happen? No, this isn't a case of Steiner maths. The Undertaker actually missed two WrestleManias during the lifespan of the streak. He missed Mania 2000 after tearing his pectoral muscle in December of 1999. Mm. However, he was a lot closer to the big payday when he was forced out of WrestleMania 10. Owing to a nasty back injury, the Phenom was written off TV at the 1994 Royal Rumble after he was killed by Yokozuna. This was the whole <laughs> camera inside the coffin deal, where yeah. it was very much implied that the dead man had actually died. Well, for a little bit. He missed his first WrestleMania since debuting and wasn't seen again until SummerSlam, where he faced himself. Anyway, number one, <laughs> Mustafa Ali. Serendipity is defined as the occurrence... Oh. I already know this one. I think a lot of us do. Him being injured, he was supposed to be slated in the Kofi Kingston spot, but he wasn't. It was it was Kofi Kingston that ended up taking his spot, and it catapulted him to Kofi Mania and winning the championship. That's... That's crazy. ...and development of events by chance in a happy or beneficial way. Just beneath that sentence in the dictionary, you will find a picture of Mustafa Ali getting yeah. his eye stomped in by Randy Orton. <laughs> Ali debuted on SmackDown in December 2018 Damn, and quickly man, shot up the card rough. by pinning WWE champion Daniel Bryan in a tag team match. The former Cruiserweight star looked set for a huge night at Elimination Chamber, where he was part of the titular match. Unfortunately, a long came a viper. Yeah. On the February 5th, 2019 episode oh. of The Blue Show, Orton got a little bit too enthusiastic and injured Ali's eye. This took the up-and-comer out of the chamber match, in which he would be replaced by a certain pancake enthusiast. And this is where it all started mm -hmm. for Kofi Kingston. Yep. He was given Ali's spot and managed to generate enough natural support that WWE had no choice but to make him world champion mm -hmm. at WrestleMania 35. None of this would have happened without Ali poorly timed injury. You yep. gotta feel pretty sorry for the guy. Actually, he was the bloke behind Retribution, wasn't he? Sympathy revoked. Yeah, that that's just just that's just unlucky circumstance, man. You can't even predict that. That was supposed to be his spot, and it ultimately ended up being Kofi. So I don't know. You know, maybe if things was different, would it have worked as well as Kofi? I'm not sure. I think the Kofi Kingston situation was right time. At the right place, perfect storm, it worked. At least we were able to see him win it at WrestleMania. 
And then after that, it, you know, it kind of went downhill. So comment down below. Let me know what are some of these, like, well, where, I guess, what are the, some of the moments, injury moments that you guys can remember from one of your favorite wrestlers that kind of derailed their push or, you know, caused a main event, not at WrestleMania in particular, but a main event at a certain show to be changed because someone got injured, if you can remember. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K, and I am still your Unspeeded YouTube Wrestling Champ and also your Interclutch World Heavyweight Champ. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.